Hey guys, so a little update on this uh, LoopTech CT. Uh, I know early on yeah, we had some problems. We weren't real impressed. Uh, the build quality, uh, appearance-wise, uh, really nice looking, um, solid. We did have an issue with the key that uh, LoopDeck is actually in the process of replacing this unit. Uh, this is still the unit with the broken key. Uh, but we're going to continue testing with it until that new unit comes in. But um, the one thing I will say about this is that the learning curve is a little bit higher uh, than sort of just a, a standard uh, tool. And, and that's, that's not a knock on loop deck. It's actually the reason why there's a little bit of a learning curve is because quite honestly, uh, anything that you can do in your editing program, you can do with this device, but it has to be programmed to do so or you have to sort of know where it is. And one of the things that I was sort of frustrated with is I couldn't do a jog. But what I didn't know, and yes, if you read the manual, you will find this, uh, and someone actually posted it on our Facebook page. Um, this, this display here is actually uh, a touch sensitive display. Um, and so you can swipe. And so when I swipe, I now get the option to jog either one frame or five frames. And this is very, very handy because uh, when you bring up a, a, a clip, uh, you can do a really quick five frame jog. So you're kind of advancing five frames along. And then when you want to refine it a little bit, now you're one frame along. So because I was then forced to read the manual, um, I then found several other things. And one of the other things that I found was the ability to sort of create your own screens. So these buttons, all of these buttons and, and dials, they do certain things. And each one of these buttons here uh, has the option for either an actual feature or a menu. And so these are the standard ones. Um, but anyhow, I created one for things that I do all of the time. And, and I'm telling you, this right here, this is exactly why we bought this unit and it does what we want very well. Now we're going to create an actual tutorial that shows you how to do everything we're doing so you can see what's on the screen. But just so you know my workflow, uh, when I create a clip, so let's say I have a whole bunch of uh, videos of my kids uh, at bats. And really I don't want all that junk that leads up into each swing. I just want to create a sequence of videos um, that has just swings. Then I can give that to my kid, we can look at it, we can do the, you know, the geek analysis stuff that, that you guys do. Um, but here's how I do that. So I, uh, I've, I've drug my, my image up on the screen, and then I'm going to jog up to the point where the ball comes in the frame, and then I'm going to mark the inside, and then I'm going to keep jogging, and maybe I'm going to refine it a little bit, and then when I see the ball hit the bat, I'm going to make a mark, okay? If you're familiar with Premiere Pro, you'll know that these marks carry along with the video. It makes it easy, very easy to find that point. Okay, so that was the uh, point that the ball contacted the bat. I'm going to go back to five frames, and I'm going to advance a little bit more. And then the ball actually left, left the screen or, you know, is in the field. It, it, it's where I'm going to stop analyzing the swing. I'm going to actually stop. So I've got a start. I've got a stop. I've got a mark where the ball is. And now I'm actually ready to dump it into my timeline, and that's where I click this button right here. All right, um, very, very handy stuff. That's stuff that you can do with the mouse, but you're sort of moving all over the place. And, and guys that don't do a lot of video editing, they may not understand uh, that that saves you a tremendous amount of time. So again, we're gonna continue to work on this and, and uh, develop a, an actual workflow uh, tutorial of what you can do with this. But guys, I'm telling you what, at this point, yes, this device is expensive. It does the stuff we were wanting it to do. Hey, if you have questions or things that you want us to try, shoot me an email at josh at linkspider.com. Check us out on our Facebook page or on our website, www.linkspider.com. Thanks a lot.